thank you for joining us here we want to find a real solution to this problem and from here let's write this in another way and say this is n raised to power 3 then raised to power 2 as this will give us back n raised to power 6 then minus n raised to power 3 equals to 2 as well then from here we can use a letter to represent our n raised to power 3 so let's use letter p here and say let p be equal to n raised to power 3 so that we write this again and we say p square so this becomes p square minus p then let's bring this to here such that we have minus 2 now then left with 0 here and when we solve this equation is a quadratic equation when we solve it we can factorize we can factorize and the two factors we give us minus 2p and plus p because when we multiply this and this we have minus 2p squared then when we break it down such that the addition will give us the number in the middle so breaking this one down this will give us minus 2p then plus p when we multiply this we get minus 2p squared and when we had it we have minus p so we can replace this number in the middle with this two now such that we now have p square then minus 2p plus p minus 2 equals to 0 so we just replace this number in the middle with this that's how to factorize then when we group it to 2 and we factor what is common out from these two what is common here is p and uh, we remain p here then minus 2 left here then also what is common here is just 1 that's plus 1 into bracket p minus 2 then equals to 0 so we can see that p minus 2 p minus 2 is inside the bracket then from there when we bring 1p minus 2 we have p minus 2 now then times we have p plus 1 which is equals to 0 then from here now we can say these two multiplies and we have 0 either of them will be 0 so we have p minus 2 equals to 0 or we have p plus 1 equals to 0 so when we solve this we have p equals to 2 or p equals to minus 1 now let's consider the two you know cases we have here since we know that our p is represented with n raised to power 3 we represented our p with n raised to power 3 so when we bring it down we then have here now we say our p is n raised to power 3 that will be n raised to power 3 now equals to 2 for this case now and when we solve this let's bring these two to this side we now have n raised to power 3 minus 2 let's equate it to 0 now because nothing will be here again we have taken plus 2 to this place become minus 2 and from there we can solve further and say this one let's write this two in another way such that we have n raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power 3 over 3 what we have done here is like we have done nothing there because 3 over 3 is still 1 and 2 raised to the power 1 is still 2 so equals 0 and we can also write this one further and say this will be n raised to the power 3 minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 raised to the power 3 from law of indices this power now you know when they multiply we still have same thing there so equals 0 from here we can use the identity when we have x raised to power 3 minus y raised to power 3 this will give us x minus y then times x squared plus xy plus y squared so when we make use of this identity here this is standing as our x n is standing as our x and 2 raised to power 1 over 3 as our y 
so that n raised to the power 3 minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 then all raised to the power 3 will then become n minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 then times n square plus n times 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 then plus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 then all squared so that's all we have then from there when we simplify this now we can see that and don't forget this is equal to zero from what we have up so we are equating it to zero that means this has to be equal to zero so then when we solve that this will now become n minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 then times n square this can be written as plus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 n then plus when 2 multiplies this same thing as 2 raised to the power 2 over 3 which is equal to 0 then in the same way these 2 multiplies either of them will be 0 so we have n minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 equal to 0 or we have n square plus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 n plus 2 raised to the power 2 over 3 equals 0. On this side now we can take this minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 to that side and we say n equals to 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 and this here we have a solution to that problem we have one of the solution which is the real solution to that problem then let's consider the second case that is when our p is equal to minus one so we have the second case that is the case two now when our p is known to be minus one since we have p equals to minus one and our p is representing n raised to power 3 equals to minus 1 now so let's take this minus 1 to this side and then we have n raised to power 3 plus 1 now equals 0 so solving this as well we can write this again and say this is n raised to power 3 plus 1 raised to power 3 equals 0 because 1 raised to power 3 is t1 and we can also make use of the identity when we have x raised to the power 3 plus y raised to the power 3. This will give us x plus y multiplied by x squared minus xy plus y squared. So when we make use of that, this identity now, we can now say that our n raised to the power 3 plus y. 1 raised to the power 3 we then give us we have n plus 1 multiplied by n squared then minus n times 1 then plus 1 squared and we know that this is equal to 0 from what you have so this can be written again now and say this will be giving us n minus n plus 1 multiply by n squared then minus n plus 1 equals to 0 so this two also multiplies and equals 0 then either of them will be 0 we say n plus 1 here equals to 0 or n squared minus n plus 1 equals to 0 then from here our n is equal to minus 1 here we have another solution that will satisfy the problem another real solution and from this side we can check whether we have a real solution there when we use our discriminant we have uh, root b squared minus 4ac this will determine whether we have a real solution or not and from here our b is minus 1 so we can say this is root minus 1 squared minus 4 then our a is 1 our c is 1 and when we look at this this will give us 
that's the root we have one minus four which is equal to root minus three here we have a complex number so therefore there is no real solution for this particular equation just in the same way with what we have here what we have here too there is no real solution here as well so we only have this real solution here which will satisfy the problem and also we have this real solution here thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now